enough of that. Day one. Who's ready to get going? I am. I am freaking hungry for some ice cream. Get out of here. All right. What I'm going to do is each day I'm going to pick a name out of the hat. That one fell out. Crap, crap. Got all the names written down here of every ice cream I have. So it'll just be random. And we will work through the flavors. Um, that's not going to work. I need a flavor I haven't tried for day one. It might take a while. All right. Ben and Jerry's triple caramel chunk. That'll work. We'll be eating that in a minute. And uh, today's going to be fairly active. So calories are set to be about 2,400. So if uh, the pint of that doesn't come out to be half, then I'll fill it in with like ice cream sandwich, uh, Magnum bar, um, ice cream cone, something like that. So we will see when I add it up. Ice cream on the way. All right, day one, starting off. Here is the leanness. Flexed, front, side, so still got a good bit here, quite a bit to come off. Obliques need to come in more. Ab separation can get quite a bit deeper. Got quite a bit here. Other side, obviously. I mean, it's everywhere. Chest. All over. So, day one. And the Yahoo page up. There's today's date. Here's the trending stories. So, that's it. I'll be eating the ice cream shortly. Like I said, starting tomorrow, I'll do the weigh-ins in here too. All right, breakfast time. Um, it's a little over, what was it, 1,000 calories, 1,100. I totally forgot what I just added up. Anyway, I'm going to have to get a little bit more than the pint. So, sweet. And, proves today's date again. August 15th, trending stories. Fresh the page for you. Alright, still today. Let's get the ice cream. So, I don't know if you're going to be able to see these nutrition facts or not. Opening these things. Not too bad. A little spoon makes the deliciousness last much longer. All right. Have not tried this flavor. We will see how it is. In case this doesn't work angle wise, I'm gonna record it from here as well, so bear with me. Check that guy out. Awesome. And grab my tripod. I'm obviously not prepared. Sorry.
already having a rough time. So. Nice chunk of fudge covered caramel. It's like a Reese's cup. Now I want some freaking peanut butter. That is pretty good. I am a big fan of caramel ice cream. And this one is not a disappointment. Got quite a bit of these fudge chunks. They're pretty good. The description is caramel ice cream with a swirl of caramel and fudge covered caramel chunks. It's a lot of caramel going on. As you can see, this is a process. It's going to take a little while. So bear with me. Ah. Got those caramel swirls. Yes. This one is off. 280 calories per serving. So times four. 16 grams of fat. Not gonna be too hard to work in. A couple of them like peanut butter world or like 350 cows. And a lot more fat. So not too bad. It just gets better. It's better with every bite. This is the first thing I've eaten today, by the way. Worked out about some time. Okay. Well, let me close my computer. In. I got there a little after 5.30, 5.30-ish. So, no post-workout shake for me. No, sir. Oh. Also, that's just dog in the bowl. Um. Right. A lot of these I'm probably going to be eating at night, close to bed, because that's another thing we need to address is the whole carbs after a certain time, eating in general after a certain time, turning to fat. It's also ridiculous. Not even remotely true. So, it all comes down to, you know, your daily intake. No matter when it is. So I'll be showing you that. As long as I can resist eating them early in the morning. I'm freaking starving. Holy. I'm going to try to do a lot like that. This is going slower than I expected. Look at that. I still got quite a bit left. If you guys stick with me for the, the whole ice cream session each day. Good stuff. Man, this is delicious. Um, I'll probably have an ice cream sandwich for my extra ice cream calories to fill it in. I'm a little slow this early in the morning. Not bad. All right, <clears throat> getting close to halfway done. Mm -hmm. I have to do a day where I fit two by ten. It's like a <clears throat> all ice cream day or something. Because this is just going to leave me wanting more. Mm. 
this a big huge clump of fudgy caramel mm. I'd say brain freeze. Ah, I'd say I give this one a eight out of ten. It was good, real good, but nothing amazing. Well, you like caramel? I'll check it out. We we'll have to see how it stacks up to Caramel Sutra. I've heard that one's pretty awesome. Oh, oh remember you're wondering. I use the body bug. Uh, if you don't know what it is, let's look up. Body bug. Uh, <clears throat> basically, it uh, tells me how many calories I burn a day. They're advertised as being over 90% accurate, so it helps me know what to eat to stay in my deficit. So, I'm wearing this most days. Pretty sweet. We've got about a third left. I guess we'll be using the webcam. This is all I've been talking to. Whoa, it's got a big bite of caramel swirl. A little more caramel swirl would help this one, actually, after that bite. I really do wish these were peanut butter cups, too. It's one change I'd make, but then it wouldn't be triple caramel chunk. <clears throat> another, another shot. <clears throat> Yum. Almost the end. A little bit left. Not enough. I don't know if you guys have ever just stood around and smashed the whole pint. But it is satisfying. I am a fan. Obviously. Close. Hmm. <clears throat> the bottom is like very icy, almost like a freezer burnt. Kind of weird. I'll eat an extra bite out of a random open pint too to make up for the one I dropped. So don't worry. Oh god, like a bite left. There we go. Last bite. There's ice cream done. Um, I do the ice cream sandwich now. Whatever, let's do it. <clears throat> right back.
So, let's see how these are. Smaller than I expected. Because they're only 220 cows, though. It's pretty good. Not bad. Hello? Nothing. This is not very good. Um, not at all. I don't recommend these. These, <clears throat> don't buy them. Uh, just no. Very boring. Cookie has like no flavor. Ice cream is pretty crappy vanilla. It's just sad. Sad follow up to that. Much better. I'm going to be using these when I have to from now on. Alright. Well. Day one's ice cream. Oh. I'll take my bite out another pint for you. I actually like this flavor, but after eating that stuff, you know, <clears throat> eat this with a clean palate. Is that? That didn't work very well at all. Okay. Anyway, day one ice cream has been destroyed. Eight out of ten. Triple caramel chunk. Not bad. Klondike Mrs. Fields cookies. Like four. Highly regret buying those. That's it. <clears throat> so, day two tomorrow. We'll see. Tomorrow's official first weigh in. So, I'll be ready for that. Shocked at how much I weigh right now. I thought it'd still be a little over. Close to mid 170s, but strange weekend. Ate, ate a good bit, probably over maintenance on Saturday. Um, the video that you saw, and uh, that night, but <clears throat> didn't eat a lot yesterday. Ate quite a quite a bit less than usual. So, whatever, three you know, three pounds gone since then. So anyway, that's it, and. Still there for now. All right, so the calories for the Ben and Jerry's came out to 1,120, 64 fat, 128 carbs, and 12 protein. Ice cream sandwich was 220, 8 fat, 35 carbs, 3 protein. So a total of 1,340 calories from ice cream. Um, for the day, my calories are going to be 2,459, uh, 83.4 fat. 243 carbs and 184.7 protein so didn't miss protein by a lot but I'll show you I use fitday.com to track everything this is what I'm gonna be having Here's a breakdown of the daily macros so a little over half day one in the books <clears throat>